Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Well, hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to Trailer Park Christmas 2013. I'm so excited because I'm sharing with you, oh my gosh, what happened to my calendar? I burned a hole in it and it's been run over or I don't know, but you can download one and print one off on my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com and follow along. And each day since December 1st, I've been releasing a new video um, which is a recipe or a craft because look here it's a craft today on the 12th and I'm so excited because each year I do share with you a few crafts and this one actually from last year it actually uses a talent that you learned back then and you know I can never top my dryer sheet wreath which you can find that I released many years ago and has always been popular and people make them every year. I recommend that you check that one out along with my gelatin air fresheners. Those are so easy to make and great as gifts. But today we're going to be making a wreath for the front of your trailer and I'm using a grapevine wreath and you can get these at the craft store and what we're going to do is we're actually going to weave a snowflake design right there in the middle using an ancient way which is almost like those dream catchers like the Indians or Native Americans made well actually I don't think they made them I think the people that set up the little shops in the mall made them well now they do I don't know but you hang them over your bed and they catch your dreams um, well, actually, they're supposed to go through the little hole in the middle. I don't know. Look it up. It's on Google. I'm not Google, so I can't tell you about that. But I've got a grapevine wreath today, and what you, uh, you're going to need some cord, too. And I found this silver cord, and I find that that's the best thing to use because it makes just a pretty design. And as you see, the, the wreath is already grabbing it. And this one, if you have a cat... The cat will go crazy over this because they'll try to catch this, so you might want to do it out of the way from the cat. And then I have some things to just decorate it, and you could use maybe some feather boa or maybe some um, pine cones that have glitter because it's not a holiday without glitter. and Or maybe some sparkly silver things that you found in the wrapping paper section. I don't know. Sometimes I use a glue gun, sometimes I burn my hand on it, so we're not going to use that today and we're just going to stick things on it. But what you're going to do is start with your grapevine wreath and you can pick the pieces off of it that are sticking out because that's going to cause you a problem and just, as I said, this makes a mess, so be careful with that. Now, it's going to take you a while to figure out how much cord you're really going to need in the meantime, it's going to be a hassle to start working with this, but it's okay. Just work with it. What you're going to do is take the grapevine wreath, and you're going to take the string, and as I said, you could use any string that you want, and you're going to tie kind of a knot on it. So just go ahead and tie a knot, and we can cut that off in a little bit, but just tie it very tightly. There we go. And then kind of shimmy it down into the wreath, just like that. Look at that. Now, this is ready to go now. It's very nice and taut. And what we're going to do is we're not going to get it all tangled up, but we're going to grab the other part of the cord, and then we're going to take it and we're going to wrap it around the wreath, just like that. And then we're going to put the rest of the cord through it like that. So you're kind of making a loop around the wreath, just like that. And you're going to pull that, just like that. Now, yours can be any length that you want, and you can 
as you're doing this, learn how to make patterns a little bit better out of that way. But you're gonna kinda have to hold that, and then what you're gonna do is do it again. And you're just gonna loop it around and pull it through that little loop area that you made there and pull it through and don't get it caught and you're going to just continue around this wreath until you've got it all the way around the wreath with these little loops until you're back at the starting point so i'm going to get that going and check back with you in just a moment i think okay there we go I went around the wreath with the loops and we're very close to the very first one. Now what you're going to do is just push it through the loop of the first one that you started and just keep going around there, around the loop until you get to the middle. So I'm going to just push it through that loop, there we go, and it starts getting difficult at this point and especially when you have a whole bunch of cord, but at some point you'll be able to cut off what you don't need and we're just gonna yank that through just like that and of course it grabs it there we go and yank it and now I'm gonna go over to the next one and do the same now I'm just gonna continue on until I get to the center of the wreath and I'll check back with you in just a moment Okay, there we go. I got all the way to the center and then I just snipped it just a little bit and put a dab of glue on it so it doesn't come undone there. But look at that. It created kind of a spider web or a snowflake look in the middle of your wreath. And isn't that pretty? And it sparkles with that silver cord. And what you can do now is just decorate it. And as I said, you could use anything. What would you use? Go ahead and leave a comment down at the bottom. I had this left over from a boa, and I'm just going to tuck that on into it because you could use some glue, but I find these wreaths are just so easy to use with. And you can change it out year to year. You don't have to glue it all together. So I'm going to start decorating mine. And I'll be back and show you what it looks like in just a moment. And there you have it, my frosty snowflake wreath. And it's based upon the dream catchers that you can get. And, the, you know, the American Indians used to make them. I guess they did. Or they sell them in gift shops now, one of the two. But it's easy to weave right inside a grapevine wreath. And... You can use the silver cord and it makes it look like a snowflake or maybe a spider web that has gotten frozen because of the snow. But I decorated mine with a feather boa and also a silver cord I found in the present section and a sparkly pine cone. What are you going to decorate yours with? Leave a comment down at the bottom. If you get a chance to make this, send me a picture at jolenesugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to subscribe because there's more Trailer Park Christmas 2013 up until December 25th. Download your free calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com and follow along because there's a recipe or a craft every day. Follow the Trailer Park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. Add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm Jolene Sugarbaker there. And of course, Google+. Plus. I love spending the holidays with you and Merry Trailer Park Christmas. I'll be back soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Fine. pride in the double wide. Visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.